Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can create uh, a search help for customer. So this is a requirement, suppose I'm in an S4 HANA system and I go to BP and suppose here I have I have customers, okay, so here I go to customers and here when I do customers, I get all the search help. Now, I need a search help where it will give me all the customers here where I have done business with and uh, that means I have already created a sales order and it's supposed related with uh, uh, with some material sales order. So I have something related in VBAP, something with material. So first thing we have to do is we have to, I assume that there is no views already created. So here I will show you the conventional way of creating the uh, the views. I'm not using CDS views, but here I'm just using the normal. View. So I go to S11, okay, and here I will create a view CSD11, and I'll just say mm, suppose uh, customer uh, suppose business. So I'll just create this one. And here I'll say database view, okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'll say um, vendor customers for uh, for uh, inventory or for material um, material sales. Okay. So here I'll give the table name as VBAC. I'll put VBAP, okay, and these are the two. The joint condition is what? VBAP, VBL equals VBAP, VBL, okay. So that's the sales order number. So that's it. Now it's done. So now what I'm going to do is I'll go to the view fields. <clears throat> So here the table is what I'm going to do is I'll select VBAC here and the field name would be <clears throat> you see the field name I'll put VBLN okay and uh, then they would be VBAP <clears throat> and here I'll put suppose the let's see what I can put here VBAP there's a bunch of fields that will be there. So let's see, there's something I can use, mat number. So I, can, I have material number and and here for sure I need Kunar and I put VBAC and I put VBAP. So that's it. Okay, Kunar is not there. Okay, that would be Kunar. Sorry. And that's it. So that's the course. Uh, customer okay now what I'm going to do is I'll activate this okay so it's activating so it says create object so I'll click on local object and I'll activate this let's see whether there's an error oh there's an error error so VBAC does not belong to a base table okay so that's good okay I Probably wrote something more. We be LMP. Okay, probably here. There it is. Mistyping. Okay, we can check the error message. Now we'll see whether there's any error. Save objects. That's fine. It's fine now. We are activating it. Good. Okay, now we have activated. Perfect. Now what we are going to do, this portion is done. Now we want to go to this place. This is the collective search help. Now what I'm going to do is I'll take one normal search help. I'll work smartly. I'll copy paste and we'll edit it. Okay? So it's faster. So what we are going to do, uh, we created a new session. Okay, we go to S11. We put search help here. We put the search help name. We copy. 
and we put C as D11. So customer, what more we put? This is, this is the search help we are creating. Okay, local object, fine. Go to change mode. What we have to do is here, we will probably take everything out except probably Kunar. Okay, negative. Oops, there it is. And now here, I'll put the view that I just created, right? So, because that's the selection condition. So, I copy and I paste it here. Wonderful. Now, I'll put one. I'll put one. If I go here. I can select the other two. Pretty easy. I, I can put where material number. Okay. And oops, it's taking time. Matner. And I put import. Export. Two. Two. And we can put EVLN. Oops. Sorry. It would be N. And I'll put import. Export. Three. Speak. Okay. And I activate it. Okay. So now it's getting activated. Let's see whether it activates. Probably it's activated. Wonderful. Now we have this elementary search help. We see control C. We just copy this. Now what we are going to do is here we will just put app and structure. Okay. And we'll click on create. Okay. Here I'll create a new search help collective thing okay so I'll click on create and here i'll just give a name is 11 and we'll put plus this we can put this three just for the heck we'll click create okay and this is for <coughs> customer with uh, Customer search help. I'll just put okay just put the heck. because I can put other search help here. If you know, notice, I'm going to put included search helps. So here I'll put the search help that I just created. So here I created this search help and uh, didn't I change this customer for materials? This is database view. But I need to change this. Okay. I didn't change the description, so the description needs to change. So when you are doing copy paste, you know you have to edit it accordingly. So I did not do edit, but that's fine. It's better than starting from scratch, right? So, so that's why we do testing, right? So we now we activate this. Okay. Now this is done. Perfect. Now I'll go here, I'll just see this, we'll activate this, and we'll save, save it, okay, now it's saved, let's see, let's see, let's see, it's activating, and again, if we get warning in SAP, warning is okay, okay, if someone is saying, what will I do with warning, that means probably he has never worked with SAP before. So here now what you do is we go to we close this and now we'll click here again. Now you can see we have added our search up. Okay. And in this search up, if you want, you can search with all the customer. For material sales and all those things you can get so if I want suppose we'll just search here 
and here you can find all the customers that have materials okay so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a great day thank you and